Hi guys, Lil Hipster here. Happy Vloguary. It is vegan day and today I am going to be showing you how to make this delightful grilled tofu sandwich that I have just prepared. It's going to be excellent. So uh, here's what you do. Enjoy. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to need to make this uh, vegan sandwich that I'm about ready to make for you. You are going to need um, the tofu. This tofu is already chopped up like this, like in cubes. So, um, and that's what you're going to need. If your tofu is a solid block, then you're going to need to chop it up and make sure it looks like that. Um, I've also diced up some bell peppers and an onion and uh, some jalapenos and I've mixed them all together in this bowl. I've also diced up some mushrooms in that bowl and I've diced up some tomatoes in this bowl. Um, you're going to need uh, some kind of vegan bread. I like the Italian bread because it's a white bread but it's not totally like flavorless and it is vegan and uh some hummus i really like the sabra uh roasted garlic hummus that's my favorite and you need a mixing bowl so yeah that's what you're gonna need Okay, so while I was putting the leftovers from all that chopped stuff away, uh, because I've already got enough mixed here in my bowl, here, I just mixed all those ingredients together. You want enough that's going to make about one sandwich patty. So, there you go. I put all the other leftovers in the fridge. While I was doing that, I've been letting my uh, pan, my frying pan here with olive oil, get heated up because you want that nice and hot so that when you put this patty on it, it like sizzles immediately and it cooks it together immediately. So, yeah, I'm going to wait for this pan to heat up and then I'm going to throw this stuff on it and uh, I'll tell you what to do next. So I have dumped all of the contents onto the frying pan here and I am just letting it sizzle. I want to make sure it gets nice and cooked on the one side. I'm hoping that it will kind of like adhere together as it cooks. I'm not sure if it will or not but I had to work pretty quickly once I dumped it into the pan to form it into a circle like that. So that's what you're going to have to do. And you just let it sit like that and just let it cook. I think I'm going to like press on it some more like this here so that maybe I can encourage it to all stick together because that's kind of what I want is just like a patty. I'm not really sure if it'll work. This is the first time I've cooked this. It seemed like a good idea. So yeah, there you have it. <laughs> And right now, while this is cooking on the one side, it's a really good time to get the hummus and uh, spread it on um, the two pieces of bread there. You just need it on one side on each piece of bread. And then look in your spice cabinet here. Let's look and see what spices we have. Uh, I think some black pepper would be probably good to have on this. I really love curry powder on like everything. So let's see, whole cloves, I don't feel like I need that. Some salt would probably be good to have on this. I already have black pepper. Um, garlic, there's already garlic in the hummus. So uh, let's see, I have some paprika. I'm not really sure I want that on there. So right now, let's just kind of season this guy up just like that you know get the the powder out here there we go that looks like it'll be good and black pepper sprinkle a little of that on all right very cool and to adhere it to itself even more i think what i'm gonna do is splash it with a little bit of zesty italian dressing and uh, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I tried to flip it over when it was, you know, cooked enough on one side, and uh, big surprise, it did not adhere together as I wished it would. But that's okay, because I can put it loose on top of the sandwich, so that's not a big deal. What we're gonna do is just kind of, like, take the pan off the heat for a second, and uh, I'm gonna, trans gonna try and transfer it all onto this plate for now so that I can do 
the actual sandwich part on that. Okay, so I put all the contents of the sandwich onto a separate plate over there. And I have also put a little more oil in my pan because the bread is a little sensitive and we don't want it to burn. I also turned down the heat a little bit. And uh, what we're going to do is just take this bread that we've prepared and place it on here face up. And then... You're going to want to dump the contents of the sandwich onto here and put the other piece of bread uh, hummus side down on top of the sandwich ingredients. All right, and that's what I've done. We're just going to let it sit on that pan there until the underside is a golden brown, and we're going to keep checking it, and then we're going to flip it over. All right, and as you can see, it looks perfect, so we've flipped it over, and now we're going to wait and let the other side cook. All right, and I just went ahead and let the other side cook, and then once it was all done, I flopped it onto a plate and cut it diagonally. And as you can see, it held together really well. It looks delicious. All right, here, let's give this, uh, this lovely sandwich that I just made here a try. Oh, my God. That's the best thing I've ever made. It's so good. So good. So good to be a vegan and eat delicious food. I love it. All right. Uh, please take a moment to subscribe and uh, jump on the love train. It's going to be lots of fun for more recipes like this. Um, and uh, as always, don't forget to eat your fruits and vegetables, tubers. Bye-bye.